We are blessed tonight by a poet who will begin this, Naki Acrobeto. I speak. Our blood bleeds red and our tears swell like a mighty rushing river, flowing, releasing fear of the unknown, but we still trust in a vision. We still hope for the day where jobs will be plentiful. Our communities we built upon the foundation of prosperity, equality, and justice. See, this poem is not a dream deferred. It is the manifestation of words and thoughts blended together like the crowd I see. No one color, no one ethnic voice. I see a bond unbreakable, a spirit of the mass so unshakable, ready to fight the war that rages amongst our own borders. See, we have much to give, and our children's children, unborn, unseen, have the right to live the legacy that we create. So I pray to you that you press forward. I encourage you not to close your eyes and rise on the wings of eagles that swore. I rest in the promise of my ancestors and so much more. See, I have struggled firsthand and I have seen the impoverished land. My father came to America from Ghana at age 27. No family, no place to call home. Unfamiliar territory, foreign but fortunate. He worked two jobs, slept on the floor of friends, and excelled to receive his college degree. But the one thing he taught me as a citizen and as a child full of love and energy is to never give up. It goes beyond the American dream. I want the simple things in life. I want to see my people, God's people, our people, the world people, to tap into the well of resiliency and experience freedom beyond financial bondage. See, we were not created to be slaves to a system and an institutionalized system. So again, I urge you to take action because even though we all believe in change, change first must begin within you. So I invite you to realize that the dream has already come true. The power is just waiting to be released, so with all the power invested in me, I speak to the fair rights of the people. I speak to the creation of good jobs and strong communities. I speak to good health and holistic families. I speak to education that works. I speak to leaders without a vision. I speak to a people who are searching. I speak to those who have lost hope. I speak for my land. I speak for my state. I speak for my peers. I speak for my children. I speak for peace. I speak for power. I speak for change. I speak for healing. I speak because I can. I speak for a cause. I speak for the fight. I speak for human rights. See, I speak. I speak. I speak. I speak. Now I dare all of you to open your mouths and find the power within to find what you want to see. And for the sake of our future, create that which you can believe. I speak. Thank you.